Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number 11. It's titled Sparkling Flare. We're going to start by opening up the CS5 Flash program and a new document. Action Script 3. We're going to leave the stage size the same, but the background color went black and OK. Open your library panel under Windows or if you already have it docked here open it. Come down the corner creating a new symbol and we're going to call this one SPARK1 underscore MC close that off so we have something called spark one movie clip layer one call spot s p o t just give it the name spot and we want to put something right here on the stage so go to your rectangular tool click on that corner and open up the poly star tool come over to your properties panel open it up make sure that these are white both these are white come down here where it says tool setting options we want it to be a star here we want 20 20 sides to it and make those sides point to and we'll try that. Now close your panel, your properties panel, and just holding your shift down, make a little star. And let's go up here to the stage size of about 400. And there's the size that I have, and I want that to be centered on this. So using my arrow keys I'm just moving this over and using my arrow keys and bringing it very very close to center without spending a lot of time okay so I'm on 400 and that's how big it is go up to frame 20 right click insert a keyframe go to frame 10 right click insert a keyframe go back to frame one pick up your free transform tool and holding your shift down bring this in make it smaller see how much smaller I've made it now using your arrow keys or drag it up whichever you need put it there go to frame 20 do the same thing hold your shift down make it smaller probably the same size would be nice if you can get the cross here's on here you can pick it up oh there I hid them and drag it or use your arrow keys whichever you wish click in here somewhere right click and let's do a shape tween click in here do a shape tween and that gives us this motion for that one lock that layer insert another layer and call it cross C R O S S let's move this out of our way by high by going up here under this eyeball click here and it disappears so it's out of our way select frame one we still have the same poly star selected come over here click our polystar tool clicked it back here got to be polystar written here this time we want four sides still a star and we can stay with the same point too okay close this up put your shift down make a little star I'm on 400 so I'll give you some perspective of how big it should be and 
select it and again drag it until it's down using your arrow keys or drag it until it's on that line on frame 10 insert keyframe frame 20 insert keyframe go back to frame 1 free transform tools already selected I can tell by the squares around it hold the shift down make it smaller if you get those crosshairs you can drag it up like that or else use your arrow key I'm good with that go to frame 20 we're going to do the same thing hold the shift down make it smaller sometimes I can't find that when I want it oh there it was get that on there and again right click shape tween right click shape tween and let's look and see what they both look like together we got that action let's go back to this frame 10 right here get rid of hide this spot layer and let's take this one and make it a little larger make this bigger using my arrow keys now let's look at that all visible that's better see that look at that effect lock that layer insert another layer and call this one rotate R O T A T E they're just names they have no meaning to the the final results of the program we still have our poly star we know it's selected on four so let's make those two invisible now make your poly star shift down there it is there There's my poly star now come over here to the properties panel it's a drawing come over here to the alignment panel right here if you haven't got it docked here go up to windows alignment right there make sure it's highlighted select on the alignment pa panel transform make sure rotate is selected and rotate it 45 degrees there it is there close that panel come to the middle insert keyframe go to frame 20 insert keyframe click on that last frame and remove it if you happen to have one frame 10 insert keyframe so I have a keyframe again on 1 10 and 20 I'm going to go back to frame 1 select my cross open my panel up here transform and put zero in here put it back to where it was there it is there and back to here again on this frame put it back to zero so close that in here create shape tween in here create shape tween lock all the layers make them all visible again oh we got to bring this thing down hide those two layers select frame one unlock it put this one down till it's on the zero we may have to do this one all completely over again go to here put it down to the zero and this one bring it down now with a little bit of luck we won't have to do this whole thing over again and let's see what that looks like ah lock all the layers make them all visible and we've created this motion go back to scene one 
put it down to 25% or 50%. 50%. Open your library panel. If it's not here, get it under Windows. And it's a sparkle movie clip we want. Bring it on the stage. And just to make sure it's working as a sparkle, let's just test it. And there it is. Nice sparkle, nice size. We're actually going to go to 100% for 200% for a minute. I'm going to pick up my free transform tool and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller holding my shift down so it all changes there go back to 100 percent raise this up so I can basically see it pretty much the whole thing well no it's not good 50 percent I want to be able to see the whole stage Label this Sparkle, S-P-A-R-K-L. That's the name of that layer. Lock it. There it is. Put in another layer. Call it Guide. Call it Temp, T-E-M-P. Just call it Temp for now. It may end up being a temporary one. Pick up your pencil. Some color other than white, so let's put a crazy yellow here and here just to have them here and just take your pencil get close to the center as you can of that sparkle and just draw a line like that while it's highlighted come up to modify convert to symbol movie clip call it flare f l a i r underscore m c we got a flare movie clip now. Pick up your selection tool, double click on that flare, and you should have the word flare underscore movie clip here. Then you're inside of that movie clip. Name this layer guide, G U I D E. Lock it. Insert another layer, call it spark S. P A R K L Sparkle Layer. Select frame one. Come over to your library. Come over to your library panel and this sparkle movie clip. Grab it. And you see where this little sparkle is here? That's what's on scene one now, but it's not on our movie clip just the one we brought in see we can't make it disappear so drag this right on that line make it a little bit bigger make it 200 and go up to here select the guide layer put it on top double click on it There it is. Finally open. Call it a guide. Okay. Take this sparkle layer, bring it up to the right. And if that's indented, you have these dotted lines, you have a guide. Go to frame 25. Put two lines. Insert keyframes. Make this 50%. Make sure the sparkle layer is unlocked and the guide is locked. Pick it up, drag it up to the top, go up to about 200%. It looks really good there. Come down in here somewhere, right click and do a tween. And if we zoom out to 25%, that will follow that tween. Lock all layers, select the guide layer, insert another layer, call it action script, AS, insert a blank keyframe on frame 26, open your actions panel, and stop, STOP, open close bracket semicolon, 
back to your timeline lock all layers go back to scene one lock that temp layer for a minute unlock this sparkle layer actually we can just delete the sparkle layer we don't need it anymore delete there's that temp layer that we had all we have left is this temp layer control test movie and there's our sparkle happens once control test movie and we got that sparkle it's a very short tutorial I'm going to have another one build on this and make it a little bit more like a fireworks I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn